Before we get into this video, I'd like to let you know that I've created a Discord server, so if you have any questions, you can go there and leave them. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you have suggestions for future videos, you can also leave them there. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the part 5 of this series. I'm sorry for the delay between this video and the last one, but I've been quite busy trying to learn environmental art for the game that I'm developing. And also I don't have a graphics card, I'm waiting for the 3080. Still I will try to upload more often now. So in this video we'll learn how to create a UI for our weapon, so we can see how many bullets we have in our magazine and total. So let's go right click, UI, Canvas, and UI, Panel. Let's change the view to 2D so we can see what you are doing. Let's select our canvas. And here in the UI scale mode, let's change it to scale with screen size. And here select 0 0.5. The slider is in the middle. Let's go to panel. And let's click up here and press Alt and click here. Now let's drag the panel down. Let's say uh, like this, and let's create a new UI text. For now, it will be template. Let's say thirty out of four hundred, like so. Align it in the middle, and let's increase the font size, like so. Yeah, that looks fine. Now let's actually create a script to update this to the real numbers. So let's add in, let's go to our project, assets, scripts, and let's create a new one. Name it UI controller and let's open it up here you need to write using unity engine.ui and let's delete this for now and we'll need a variable a public string let's call it emo text sorry not a string a text called emo text actually it can be private and let's create a new function down here a public void update emu and you will receive the emu in magazine and total emu like so and then the emu.text.text .text is equal to our emu emu in magazine slash total emu and now we just need to call this function and send it the emu in magazine value and the total emu as an int so let's do that let's go to our weapon controller and create a private 
UI controller. Let's call it UI controller. Make it serializable field. And on the update, we'll call the UI controller dot update ammo and we'll send the bullets in magazine and and for now let's just write 400 like so if we now go back to unity we select our player player hands m4 and we have a new slot for the UI controller. Let's drag our canvas there. Oh, we, we didn't touch it yet, so let's do it. Let's drag our UI controller here. And then we drag it from the canvas to the UI. Uh, one last thing we need to do, let's go back to our script and make this serializable field so we can access it. There it is, and let's drag our text, and let's play it now. As you can see, we can now see how many bullets we have. We just need to update the total bullets, so let's fix that now. Let's open our script, weapon controller. Let's go up here and on our, yeah, it can be here. Create a new serializable field int total emu equals, let's say, 290, like so. Let's go down here to our reload. And now down here we need to remove the bullets from our let's say bag and place them on our weapon. So let's write total ammo less equal than 30 minus our bullets in magazine. And let's place it one line above here. And let's go up and on here we write total ammo. Let's save this, go back to our game and let's try it out. As you can see, we reloaded four bullets and they were removed from our total ammo. As you can see, it's looking fine. We just need to add a couple more things. Let's go back to our script. And let's go down to our reload and write if total ammo greater than zero we can reload. If we don't have ammo, ammo, we can't reload. Let's debug this. Let's say total ammo is just 5. Save it. Go back to Unity. And let's try it out. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can reload. Right, it didn't update. select our M4 and let's change it here to 5 so 1, 3, 4 we can reload, we see how I have 1 we can reload that and after that we can no longer reload if we finish the bullets We get this error, 
so let's fix that it's down here if total let's copy this if go down here and our automatic reload let's do another one like so and one last thing let's go down here to our reload delay and let's change this and let's write if bullet sorry bullets in magazine plus total ammo is less or equal to magazine capacity bullets in magazine plus or equal total ammo and total ammo equals zero else total ammo less or equal to magazine capacity less bullets in magazine like so and finally bullets in magazine equal magazine capacity save it and let's try this out so we shoot we single reload let's shoot some more we reload we can't fully reload because we don't have enough ammo so we stay with 26 now let's keep shooting and now we have zero zero we can't shoot anymore or reload so that was all for this video in the next one we might do some recoil for our weapon and i'll see you on the next video